What's up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Um, far too many times we see situations where um, a celebrity may pass away, but not just a celebrity, a, a person you know in the neighborhood, um, somebody you see on social media that's passed away, and then shortly after that, um, the family is faced with the painstaking effort um, of trying to raise money to bury their loved one. So now there's a stressful situation on two fronts. The first front is losing that loved one in the first place, dealing with that. Then it's compounded by the fact that now they don't even have enough money to give their loved one a proper burial and a proper send-off. And we see this a lot, and like I said, it, it operates whether it's, it's celebrities or whether it's just regular working class people. And there's, there are many scenarios as to why it happens, um, but what we're not going to do is, is pass judgment on why it happens. Uh, we're going to just try to be preemptive in trying to teach methods to prevent it from happening moving forward and to try to put that information um, in our people's minds moving forward. Um, usually there's just a mad scramble by family to friends to all types of benefits and fundraisers and uh, GoFundMes and we're going to sell food and we're going to do these different things. Um, in some cases, you find out that the person, especially if they're a celebrity, they may have had a lot of money and possibly squandered off the money. Or in some cases, they did squander off the money. And in other cases, they were cheated out of their money. And throughout their whole career, they never really received the type of compensation for their talent that they should have gotten. And that's an unfortunate situation because usually in those scenarios, we're talking about people who are household names or that we are all very familiar with. If we see a picture of them, we see their name, we know exactly who it is. We can pinpoint the songs he did, the movies he was in, all this different stuff. And in a lot of cases, they're still semi-active. So it comes as a shock and as a surprise when you find out after they passed away that now they didn't, they didn't even have the means um, to, to be buried, to be buried. So that's just something that we got to think about, man, because we start this life off, we start off with nothing. And then if you are blessed to, to build up a little something, something, you start at zero and you build up, build up, build up, whether it's money, fame, you build up. And I'm speaking on finances at this particular point. And then a lot of times, when you check out, you check out at, with that same zero. And it's really sad and it's really unfortunate. So these are the things that you got to kind of take into account to say, man, I got to start making those type of provisions, making those type of um, situations uh, available moving forward. And as to not put your family in that kind of a bind as to not put your family in that kind of a stressful situation because it's, it's painful enough for them to deal with your loss. Now, they got to try to figure out uh, how to bury you. I saw a commercial one time years ago. It said the average cost of a funeral is $6,000. I saw that same commercial probably a few months ago. They said the average cost of a funeral is around $9,000. So it took a $3,000 spike in just a few years. So on one front, you look and say, well, man, $9,000 is not a lot of money. But when you don't have it, it might as well be $90,000 when you don't have it. And it's very difficult to raise that kind of money on the spur of the moment, on the whim, especially if somebody passed away unexpected, nobody saw it coming, and their um, their affairs might not have been in order in terms of life insurance or whatever you can think of. It's very difficult and, and stressful um, 
on that family. Um, sometimes there are situations where celebrities might come in and there may be that one celebrity that might come through and the, the one person with money and say, man, I'll take care of that. You know, and that's a, that's a blessing and a relief off of the family and a load off of the family. But far too many other times, that's just not the case. That's just not the case. Um, some people would argue and say, well, man, you know what? If a person was um, responsible for their own financial demise, whether it be them being on drugs, whether it be them just lifestyle, where they just blowing and messing off their money, um, or if they just had unfortunate situations, everybody's not on drugs. And some people just, they just make a bad investment. They're trying to do right. And then, boom, they make a bad decision with their money and, and it hits them a little harder. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with uh, people who have worked with that person, people who have um, been around that person in, in some capacity that have money, um, not necessarily to give them money while they're alive, but to offer a an extend, extended hand to say, well, man, you know what? We'll put this aside for you. Even if they don't put it in the custody of the person themselves because they may not be able to properly deal with it, but there need to be some kind of fund created. You know, I guess that's what I'm saying. Some kind of scenario set up to where it's like, you know, when when this happens, there's something in place that can be pulled from, where finances can be pulled from, and that family doesn't have to worry about it. And I ain't just talking about celebrities. I'm talking about whoever. You know, we need to start working on those types of things, you know. And like, again, I know people say, well, man, just get some life insurance. Yeah. But um, everybody doesn't do it the way, the way that it should be done a lot of times, man. And um, it's unfortunate. And we're not here to condemn or judge. We just have to make sure that we educate each other the best we can and do our best to try to take that stress off of um, families and for those who are left behind who are going down those same roads, we gotta look at those examples and say, okay, I can't let that be me, you know? Or if I know somebody, hey man, I can't let this be you. What are you doing with your money, man? Are you putting some aside for this? Are you putting some aside for that? You know, just take the necessary steps and precautions to protect yourself and not put that burden on your family. All right, man, it's your big brother, K. Reno. Um, y'all leave y'all comments below. Anything I forgot, anything I left out or missed, feel free to drop it in the comment section, man. All right. Peace.